Okay, today we're in section 4.5, write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. 4.5, write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Before, you use slope to determine whether lines are parallel. Now, you will write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Key vocabulary, converse, perpendicular, key vocabulary, converse, Perpendicular lines, conditional statement. The converse of a conditional statement interchanges the hypothesis and conclusion. The converse of a true statement is not necessarily true. You have learned that the statement if two non-vertical lines have the same slope, then they are parallel is true. Its converse is also true. Key concept. Parallel lines. If two non-vertical lines in the same plane have the same slope, then they are parallel. If two non-vertical lines in the same plane are parallel, then they have the same slope. Example 1. Write an equation of a parallel line. Write an equation of the line that passes through negative 3, negative 5, and is parallel to the line y is equal to 3x minus 1. All right, so then what they're saying here, this, these points right here lie on a line. And they're saying that this line that contains this point is parallel to this line. So since we know that this line is parallel to this line, if we know the slope of this line, then we know the slope of the line we're trying to find. So solution, step one, identify the slope. The slope is three. The graph of the given equation has a slope of 3. So the parallel line through negative 3, negative 5 also has a slope of 3. Step 2, find the y-intercept. Use the slope and the given point. So write slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Now they told us to use the slope and a given point. So we know the slope is 3. The given point they gave us was negative 3 and negative 5. So in place of y, we put negative 5. In place of x, we put negative 3. In place of m, we put 3. Notice they tell you to do that right here. Substitute 3 for m, negative 3 for x, and negative 5 for y. And then you solve for b. So everybody should know how to do that by now. 3 times a negative 3 is going to be a negative 9 plus b. So right here, you will literally have a negative 9 plus b negative 9 plus b. So you want to get rid of, and that's equal to a negative 5. So you want to get rid of the negative 9. So you're going to add 9 to both sides. And when you add 9 to both sides, you come out with 4. So b is equal to 4. Step 3, write an equation. Use y, is, y equals mx plus b. So now you know your new equation then is y is equal to 3x plus 4. Notice, slope of 3, slope of 3. Only thing different is the y-intercept. That's what you use these coordinates to help you find. All right, for those of us who may be stuck on solving equations, we're going to help you out once again, re-emphasizing the point that what used to be an entire lesson is now simply a step. Here you are solving a two-step equation. So you got a negative 5 is equal to 3 times a negative 3 plus b. That's what they have right there. You should know you're going to multiply 3 times a negative 3. That's going to be a negative 9. So now you got a negative 5 is equal to a negative 9 plus b. You want to get the b by itself because you're trying to find the y-intercept. So to do that, you're going to get rid of this 9, and it's a negative 9, so you can add a positive 9 to both sides. The 9s are going to cancel out. B, you bring that down, so that should be right there. And then a negative 5 plus 9 is equal to 4, so B is equal to 4. Perpendicular lines. Two lines in the same plane are perpendicular if they intersect to form a right angle. Horizontal and vertical lines are perpendicular to each other. Compare the slopes of the perpendicular lines shown below. Rotate the line 90 degrees in a clockwise direction about the origin to find a perpendicular line. Key concept, perpendicular lines. If two non-vertical lines in the same plane have slopes that are negative reciprocals, then the lines are perpendicular. Once again, if two lines in the same plane have slopes 
that are negative reciprocals, then the lines are perpendicular. If two non-vertical lines in the same plane are perpendicular, then their slopes are negative and reciprocal. All right, let's reemphasize that point by giving you a couple of examples. If I have a slope of 3 over 2, then the negative reciprocal of 3 over 2 is a negative 2 over 3. This was a positive 3 over 2, so the negative reciprocal is a negative 2 over 3. That means that this line and this line are perpendicular, or this slope, they're perpendicular to each other. If I have a slope of 5, now we all know 5 means 5 over 1, then what's the negative reciprocal? Negative 1 over 5. If I have a slope of a negative 4 over 9, what's the negative reciprocal? A positive 9 over 4. So once again, this is perpendicular to that. That is perpendicular to that. Perpendicular in both directions. Perpendicular in both directions. Example 2. Determine whether lines are parallel or perpendicular. Determine which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Line A. Y is equal to 5x minus 3. Line B. X plus Y. Excuse me. X plus 5Y is equal to 2. Line C. A negative 10Y minus 2X is equal to 0. Solution. Find the slopes of the lines. A. The equation is in slope intercept form. So the slope is 5. So the slope there is 5. Write an equation for line B and C in slope intercept form. So in other words, we can't determine these until we put them in the form y equals mx plus b. When I say these, this one and this one. So let's put this in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, now keep in mind we have to get it into y equals mx plus b form. That means y is by itself and the x term and the b term are on the same side. So starting with this equation, x plus 5y is equal to 2. x plus 5y is equal to 2. You got 5 times y is equal to a negative x plus 2. Now how did they get that? They got that by subtracting x from each side. So x minus x is 0. That's gone. Bring down their 5y. And then you got 2 minus x. You can't combine these because they're not like terms. So you end up with 5y is equal to a negative x plus 2. 5y is equal to a negative x plus 2. Now you want to get the y by itself. So you divide both sides by y. Y by 5, excuse me, divide both sides by 5. 5 here, 5 here, and 5 there. Each term is divided by 5. So now what's 5 divided by 5? That's going to be 1, and you're left with just 1y. Here you get a negative x over 5, you write it just like it is. And then 2 over 5, you don't convert it to a decimal, you write it just like it is. Alright, now look right here real careful. What number there is in front is in between that negative and that x? That's a 1. So really this is a negative 1 fifth. Can you see that? That's a negative 1 over 5. So you can re rewrite that as y is equal to a negative 1 fifth times x plus 2 fifths. y is equal to a negative 1 fifth times x plus 2 fifths, excuse me. So that we can see for line B then, our slope is a negative 1 fifth. Okay, now let's look at line C. Line C, we got a negative 10y minus 2x is equal to 0. That's what they have here. After doing the first step, they end up with a negative 10y is equal to 2x. And then the final answer is y is equal to negative 1 fifth times x. Okay, now remember now, now it's in the form y is equal to mx plus, and the b term in this case is 0. The b term in this case is just 0. All right, now those of us who may be confused, or who don't know their steps, we're going to try to show you once again. All right, now we want to get y by itself, so the negative 2x got to go. So I got to say plus 2x here, plus 2x there. Draw my line. All right, a negative 2x when combined with a positive 2x, that goes to 0, so that's gone. So now I got a negative 10y is equal to 2x. All right, now I want to get this y by itself, so I divide both sides by negative 10. Why? Because I'm multiplying by negative 10. Negative 10 times y. Opposite of multiplication is division, so negative 10, negative 10. 
All right, negative 10 divided by negative 10, of course, that goes to just 1. I'm left with just 1y is equal to a negative 2 over 10 times x. Now, I can reduce this 2 over 10 to 1 over 5. Of course, that's negative x. Once again, what used to be a lesson is now simply a step. So then, line B and C have slopes of a negative one-fifth. So they are parallel. Line A has a slope of 5, the negative reciprocal of a negative 1 over 5. So it is parallel, excuse me, so it is perpendicular to lines B and C. Once again, line A has a slope of 5, the negative reciprocal of a negative 1 over 5. So it is perpendicular to lines B and C. Example 3. Determine what the lines are perpendicular. Stay flagged. The arrows on a flag is shown in a coordinate plane. Lines A and B appear to be perpendicular. Are they? There's line A and that's line B. Line A is such that 12 times Y is equal to a negative 7X plus 4. Line B is 11 times Y is equal to 16X minus 52. Solution. Find the slopes of the lines. Write the equations in slope intercept form. Line A. 12 times Y is equal to a negative 7 X plus 42. Alright, I notice my Y's here equals MX is there plus B. So, all I have to do here is get the Y by itself. I can do that by dividing by 12. And when I do that, I get 12 divided by 12. That's 1, so I'm left with 1y. I write a negative 7x over 12, just as a negative, as a negative 7x over 12. And I get 42 divided by 12, which I'm going to leave as 42 over 12. All right, now I notice I can do the same thing here in line B. y equals mx plus b. So all I got to do is get that y by itself, so I divide by 11. After dividing by 11, 11 divided by 11 is 1, so I'm left with 1y. 16 times x over 11, I write as 16 over 11 times x, minus 52 over 11. And what do I notice? The slope of line A is 7 over 12. The slope of line B is 16 over 11. The two slopes are not negative reciprocals, so lines A and B are not perpendicular. Example 4, write an equation of a perpendicular line. Write an equation of a line that passes through 4, negative 5, and it is perpendicular to the line y is equal to 2x plus 3. Solution, step 1. Identify the slope. The graph of the given equation has a slope of 2. Because the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals, the slope of the perpendicular line through 4, negative 5 is a negative 1 half. So the slope is 2. A line that's perpendicular to it is going to have a slope of a negative one-half. Step 2. Find the y-intercept. Use the slope and the given point. Write the slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. Substitute a negative one-half for m, 4 for x, and a negative 5 for y. So in place of y, negative 5. In place of m, negative one-half. In place of x, 4. Now solve for b. Okay, after solving for b, we end up with b is equal to a negative 3. Alright, now for those who can't see that, negative 5 is equal to a negative 1 half times 4 plus b. I'm multiplying fractions, so I got a negative 1 half times 4 over 1. There's a 1 over that. I multiply going across. A negative 1 times 4 is a negative 4. 2 times 1 is 2. So now I have negative 5 is equal to a negative 4 over 2 plus b. All right, now what is a negative 4 divided by 2? A negative 4 divided by 2 is a negative 2. So now I have negative 5 is equal to a negative 2 plus b. Now I must get rid of this negative 2 because I want the b by itself. So now what's a negative 2 when combined with a positive 2? That's going to go to 0. And I'm left with b is equal to a negative 5 plus 3, which is a negative 3. Now I can go to step 3, write an equation. Write slope-intercept form. That's y is equal to mx plus b. Substitute a negative one half for m and a negative three for b. So y is equal to a negative one half x minus three. That concludes today's lesson.